Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome my name's Simone. Today I'm going to be doing an update of my Xanthal Asthma. I made a video when I first started YouTube in March 2018, I'm going to link that video above. It is my most popular video on my channel and it's about how I removed a Xanthal Asthma with a Wartner pen. So just before I get started, I just want to do a quick disclaimer and say that I'm not suggesting that anybody removes a xanthal asthma with a Wartner pen. The Wartner pen is supposed to be used for warts. It's just my journey. This video is for informational purposes and I'm not recommending that anybody does this. When people ask me questions about it, I'm happy to let you know what I did, but I can't say, like some people ask me, like, what would you do or um, what should I do? And I don't want to say, oh, you should do this or you should do that. Um, this is just for informational purposes only. Um, I will link down in the description box the one that I bought which is on Amazon and amazon.co.uk and amazon.com this is the one that I bought um, I thought I'd throw this away but I found it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the gel the consistency of it because a few people have asked me what it's like um, what I wanted to do as well is I wanted to show you some photos now of what my xanthal asthma looked like before and after in case you've not seen that original video so I'll show them now And this is what my eye is looking like today. So it's been six years in total since I removed the xanthal asthma. Um, I don't know if you can see properly because this is on my phone and my camera's not great. But I have got concealer on to cover up the scar. As I've talked about in previous videos and in one video I show you what I look like with no makeup on. And you can see that there's a scar but if you have a xanthal asthma you'll know that even if you used heavy duty concealer because it's like a raised fatty bump it is very difficult to hide it so I am happy with the scar I can live with it what I would say is as I've got a little bit older I'm going to be 40 this year you know your skin starts to start sag a little bit around your eyes anyway I don't know if you can see but can you see that there's kind of like a crease there compared to there but again I, I don't notice it it's not like a big deal or anything like that. First, I want to say it hasn't come back, as you can see. In one of my previous videos, I talked about how when I'd not changed my diet, pinpricks started to come back and then I changed my diet to be predominantly plant-based. And um, I've been, um, I'd say since then, since the first video that I made, I was plant-based for two years. Previous to that, when the xanthal asthma came, I talked about how I was eating... I don't know whether I would say it was keto, um, it was based off Western A price recommendation and um, the foundation, um, so I was eating a lot of protein, um, vegetables and things like that, but I was having a lot of like, beef dri drippings, eggs and coconut oil and things like that, so I don't know if it's any one of those things or, or what, but I'd not eaten before that I'd not eaten eggs and I'd not eaten cheese so I don't know if it's because I'd ate a lot of them products but I lost loads of weight I talk about that in the first video in total eating that way and then eating plant-based I lost like 10 kgs over I think it was only a three or four month period or something like that but what happened was that xanthal asthma started getting bigger and bigger and then when I was pregnant with my daughter in 2014-15 got bigger and that's when I decided that I wanted to remove it. So when I removed it, um, I said that it st little pinprick started to come back and then that's when I thought, is it diet? I changed my diet to be predominantly plant-based and then that's when it went. So after the video that I made, Three years ago 
um, I started to eat a little bit of meat later on in my pregnancy and then after I had the baby but I'd say this last year I've been predominantly plant based I've not been having as much fat as what I used to have 100% so I wonder if it's that but um, yeah I didn't have high cholesterol no history of it in the family or anything like that so I, I do put it down to diet I have been um, answering lots of questions in your in the comment section but one of the questions that comes up a lot is when I did it how many times did I apply it I applied it the once so I took that I don't want to put it anywhere near my eye because there is a little bit of gel on it but I I put coconut oil around um, the area I know that some people put Vaseline and then I put put it directly on some people use a q-tip um, to make sure that it doesn't go on the um, surrounding area but I just put it directly on it stung like crazy and then it went white frosty and I was really worried then I applied it again the next day when I've been reading the comments it looks like some people have been doing the same and been doing it twice some people have just done it the once I always say I wonder if I would have done it if I just did it the once would I have not have had the swelling that I had because it was a mess um, but I tried to leave it, I didn't wash it off, that's one question I've been having. I didn't wash it off, I left it and I tried not to disturb the scab. When I disturbed the scab accidentally, I think I talk about this in my first video, there was all like white, like fatty, like that came away and then it was all smooth but there was a scar and it took, I mean, it was a good couple of weeks for it to heal. Um, in total, the swelling and everything took about 21 days. But oh my gosh, I was so worried. My husband thought that I had just like ruined my skin around there. Um, it can be really scary. And when I've seen some of the photos that some of my subscribers have sent to me, and they've got samphalasmas here and here, and the scabs are coming. It's just like you're thinking, oh my gosh, what's the skin going to be like? But when they've sent me after photos, it's amazing um, the difference and how the lives have changed. Um, I love reading. If any of you are watching who've, who've removed your xanthalasmas or um, you're thinking about doing it, like I said, I'm not recommending it. But the comments that some people leave me is just, it's amazing how it's changed their life, getting rid of these things. Or some people have had... I've read a couple of comments of some people that have been and had them surgically removed or they've been and had the TCA treatment at like a surgery because in my first video I put a link to a video showing someone getting it done professionally in a clinic but I don't know how much that costs. Um, so I got my Wartner pen on Amazon.co.uk, no actually I got it from Boots sorry but you can get it on Amazon.co.uk or Amazon.com and I will link um down below the one that I bought. Lots of people from India have asked me um, where to get it from because they've not been able to get it on Amazon um, in India. Um, but unfortunately, the only other place I know is eBay. Um, but that was, like I said, it's going back three, three, four years ago now. So I'm not sure whether it's available on there or not. But again, I wanted to show you the gel. So it, you, you twist it. A few times and then can I, don't, I hope you can see this can you see I don't know if you can see it but it's not dripping down can you see it's not dripping down a lot it is quite a thick gel I'm not wanting to touch it because obviously it could end up burning my skin and I don't even know how long these last for so it could be um, more potent now I don't know but anyway so yeah that's what the gel is like so I obviously I obviously when I did it I didn't let the gel fall down I twisted it a little bit and then I gently like put it on I didn't put like a big thick amount on like that um, and then like I said it went white and then the next day I did it again and then it went white again and then I left it and then that's when it started to scab and then it started to heal um, yeah so there's the Wartner pen. I think I paid about £10 for it or something like that. But um, yeah, and I'm trying to think if there's any other questions that anybody else has asked me. How many days it can take to heal? Obviously, it varies, but with me, it took 21 days. Some people have asked me, um, did I put anything on after to, to help it heal? I didn't use anything because I was worried about disrupting scar. But some people have commented and said that they've used 
like some ointment for wounds and another lady used oil of ole um, but and coconut oil as well someone's used but like I said I didn't use anything on mine because I didn't want to disrupt it if you do have any questions then please leave them down below um, like I was saying though um, I can only just go off my experience I really hope that you like this video and I'll also put all of the like the playlist videos and things like that down below in the description box if you'd like to check them out and if you found this video useful I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel hit the like button share this video with anyone that you think it might be useful to and I will see you in my next one. Bye!